Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video lecture, we shall learn how to find residues at poles. In my previous lecture, we have studied that if we are given a function f of z which has a pole z0 of order n, then we can use this formula to find the residue of this function. Now if I put n is equal to 1 in this formula, I can get the residue of the function f at a simple pole. If I put n is equal to 2, then I can get the residue at a pole of order 2. And if I put n is equal to 3, I can get a pole of order 3, the residue at a pole of order 3. So we, we can use this formula to find the residue of any function which has poles. So let us start uh, from the solution of a problem. Let us see the problem. The problem is find the residues of f of z is equal to 1 over z square into z minus 2 whole power 4 at all poles of f of z. So we will solve this problem but you can use the procedure which I will use in the solution of this problem to solve any problem of this type. So let us start from the solution. From the solution first of all we have to obtain the poles. To obtain the poles always we put the denominator equal to zero. So let us obtain the poles. So we have to put, put z square into z minus 2 whole power 4 equal to 0. And now the roots of this equation are called the poles of that function. So from this equation we can get one root which is z is equal to 0. And you can see that this is a pole of order of order 2. Similarly, from here we can get another root which is z is equal to 2. And you can see that this is a pole of order 4. Now I have to obtain the residue at the first point. So at z is equal to 0, I have to use the same formula. Now in this formula, if I put n is equal to 2, then 2 minus 1 is 1 factorial. Here I will put 2, then this is d by dz and so on. So let us find the residue. So the residue of the function f at the point 0 is equal to d by dz into z square and the function f of z at the point z is equal to 0. Now we have to put the value of f of z in this formula. So if I have to put the value I can get that this is equal to d by dz z square and the value of the function in the given question is z square z minus 2 whole power 4. And at the end we will put z is equal to 0. Now z square will be cancelled with z square. So I only have d by dz of 1 over z minus 2 whole power 4. So I have to differentiate this. If I differentiate this I will get that this is minus 4 divided by z minus 2 whole power 5 and the point is z is equal to 0. Now finally I will put this point and I can get that this is minus 4 divided by minus 2 power 5 and if I simplify this we can get 1 over 8. So the residue of the function f at the point 0 is 1 over 8 and this is the 
required solution. Now I have to obtain the residue of the function at the other pole. The, other, the next pole is z is equal to 2 which is a pole of order 4. So again if I put 4 here you can see I will get 1 over 3 factorial and if I put 4 here 4 minus 1 is 3 and so on. So using the same procedure I can get that the residue of the function f at the point 2 is equal to 1 over 3 factorial into d cube over dz cube and now I have to put z minus 2 whole power 4 into f of z and at the end we have to replace z is equal to 2. Now we have to put the value of the function f of z and 1 over 3 factorial is equal to 1 over 6. This is d cube divided by dz cube and z minus 2 whole power 4 into 1 over z square into z minus 2 whole power 4 at the point z is equal to 2. You can see these two terms will be cancelled. And now I have to obtain the third order derivative of 1 over z square. So first of all from here we get that this is 1 over 6 into d cube over dz cube into 1 over z square. And let's say this is equation number 1. So now we put that let, let 1 over z square is g of z. So we have to differentiate this. To differentiate this we can get that g dash of z is equal to minus 2 divided by z cube. We have to differentiate this again. G double dash of z is equal to 3 to the 6 divided by z4. And we have to differentiate this function one more time. So third order derivative of g is equal to 6 for the 24 minus 24 divided by z5. And now let's put this value in equation number 1. So equation number 1 implies that residue of the function f at the point 2 is equal to 1 over 6 into minus 24 divided by z power 5 and the point is z is equal to 2. Now 6 fours are 24 and now we have to put z is equal to 2 in this function so we can get minus 4 divided by 2 power 5 and if we simplify this we can get that the residue the residue of the function f at the point 2 is minus 1 over 8 and this is all.